Tesla currently makes the best selling electric vehicles on the market. And today I want to talk about the Tesla efficiency advantage and why I believe Tesla is poised to continue to dominate the EV market for years to come. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Before we actually get into comparing the different electric vehicles on the market to the efficiency that Tesla has in their vehicles, I think it's really important to talk about how to best measure the efficiency of an electric vehicle. So obviously for standard gas or petrol cars, we measure the efficiency by miles per gallon. But you know, there is a number thrown out there for electric cars called miles per gallon equivalent, MPGE. Is that really the best way to measure efficiency? Well, if you kind of think about what that means, they're actually taking and converting the energy that is stored in a gallon of gas when you burn it, and they're converting that over as a comparison to how much battery capacity can store and so it's kind of a weird way to take an old technology and transfer it to a new technology and it does have its place for those who are not familiar with electric cars and some of the things like that but for our purposes I want to use what I believe to be the best measurement and that is kilowatt hours of battery needed for every 100 miles and that's kind of the standard that the EPA actually gives us as well and some of the data that I'm going to be using um, from fueleconomy.gov in just a few minutes here that's the number we're going to use and it's just a really simple calculation not difficult to understand just how many kilowatt hours of battery does it take to go 100 miles now let's get into the different segments of the electric car market and discuss where Tesla falls on the efficiency, specifically honing in on that kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So for the sedan market, we have three main vehicles in the electric market, and that's the Nissan Leaf, the Tesla Model 3, and the Chevrolet Bolt. These are going to be the most common cars that you see out on the market. Of course, the Tesla Model 3 outselling the others quite a bit. But the more important number to look at is the kilowatt hours per 100 miles. You'll notice that is listed there just below the MPGE. But the most important measurement there is the Tesla Model 3. It only takes 24 kilowatt hours of battery capacity to go 100 miles. The Bolt... The 2020 Bolt has gotten more efficient. It's a, it's a better vehicle than it was in 2019, and they have increased the range from 238 to 259, but still there, 29 kilowatt hours of battery per 100 miles. It takes five more kilowatt hours of battery capacity to go to the same distance as the Model 3. And then, of course, the Nissan Leaf, it takes 32 kilowatt hours, which is eight more than the Tesla Model 3. So you'll just notice there quickly that Tesla is able to make a vehicle go further or to match someone else's capacity of miles with less battery pack. So that's a big advantage and definitely a lot more efficient on the uh, compact sedan market. Let's talk now about the premium sedan market. So... There's really two vehicles that fall into this category. That is the Tesla Model S, and I chose the long range vehicle, and then the Porsche Taycan Turbo, which is the middle of the range Taycan. Um, and I just chose these two because they were the closest I could come to based on specs and equipment, etc. So you'll notice there, first of all, the Tesla has a 100 kilowatt hour battery. The Porsche Taycan has a 93 kilowatt hour battery, so pretty close in comparison. But when you actually get to the number there down at the bottom, the kilowatt hours per 100 miles, you'll see the new Raven update for the Tesla Model S that gets 373 miles is a very efficient car for its size. It only takes 26.8 kilowatt hours of battery to go 100 miles. For a car that size, for a car that weight, that's an, a very impressive number. It takes the Porsche Taycan 42.3 kilowatt hours to go 100 miles. 
the efficiency of the Porsche Taycan is horrendous. While the car is actually a good car, and while it's a great track car, and while I would, of course, love to own one, if I were going to spend 150 k that would not be the car I'd spend it on. I would prefer to have a Model S long range and a maybe a Model 3 performance, and you would still be less money than having one Porsche Taycan Turbo. And so that's just an example there. What they're able to give you, Tesla is able to give you a car with much more range, similar performance, and way more efficiency. So just to put this in perspective a little bit and kind of see what this means in real life is Tesla could match the Taycan range with only a 60 kilowatt hour pack. So it's just impressive that with 40 less kilowatt hours, Tesla could be in the same place, miles of range, as the Porsche Taycan. And so that's just something to look at. It kind of puts it in perspective of how much more efficient the Tesla Model S is than the Porsche Taycan. Now let's talk about the compact SUV market. And of course, that's where the Tesla Model Y will fall next year when that is released for sale. And so let's look at the cars in this category. So first of all, you'll see the Tesla Model Y, which is assumed to have a 75 kilowatt hour battery based on the fact that it's going to be very similar to the Model 3 and have 75% of the same parts. You'll notice there that it has a very good efficiency, assuming these numbers from when Tesla unveiled the Model Y with a 300 mile range out of that 75 kilowatt hour battery. And that's comes out to about 25 kilowatt hours for every 100 miles of range. You'll notice the Mustang Mach-E, the base vehicle, which gets 230 miles out of the same size battery, is a 33 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, so definitely takes them 8 more kilowatt hours to go the same distance. It takes the Hyundai Kona, three more kilowatt hours to go 100 miles and the Kia Niro EV takes it five more kilowatt hours to go 100 miles. And now I want to discuss the last segment that we're going to have in this video and that's the premium SUV market. Of course, that's where the Model X falls and so let's compare that to the Audi e-tron and the Jaguar I-Pace. So you'll notice there these numbers are from the EPA You'll notice there that it takes the Audi e-tron, a horrendous 46 kilowatt hours battery capacity to go 100 miles. And then it only takes 35 kilowatt hours per 100 miles for the Model X long range. And then Jaguar I-Pace, it takes it 44 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. And so when you look at the price range of these vehicles, in all regards, if you add a feature or two to the Audi or the Jaguar, you're at the same price as the Model X. And when you look at the range, 328 for the Model X versus 234 for the I-Pace and 204 for the e-tron, it becomes really obvious which car here is the better value. And of course, the efficiency there, it takes quite a bit more energy for either of these two competing vehicles to go the same 100 miles or 100 kilometers. And so very impressive what Tesla is able to do here. And this is a huge advantage for many reasons. Now I wanna talk about why this is such a huge advantage and why this makes such a difference. So when people are purchasing electric cars, one of the very top concerns that they have is how much range does it have? People are concerned with that. You know, people have done a lot of studies and, and there's been a lot of research out there saying, well, people only commute, maybe they only really need a battery that, that can go 73 miles or whatever. There's been some numbers thrown out there like in that, in that range. People only need 70 some miles. But the reality is people don't really want to buy a car that only has less than 100 miles, especially where we are now where Tesla has several versions over 300 miles. People want a lot of range. And if you as a car company are able to produce a car for a reasonable price that has the, the most range on the market, that is automatically going to give you a huge advantage over the rest of the, the competition. And Tesla right now, 
with their battery technology, with their efficiencies and their powertrains and other things like that, they can offer more range for less cost, meaning less battery capacity on every model. So it's just impressive there. Range is king and Tesla is king on the range. They're able to produce these vehicles at a reasonable price with a lot of range. So I believe Tesla definitely has an advantage because of these efficiencies that they're able to achieve with their powertrain, with their design, their low drag coefficient, of course their vertical integration, and all these things come together and allow Tesla to create the most efficient and in my opinion best looking, best performing electric vehicles on the market. Thank you so much for watching through this video to the end. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, be sure to click the bell icon so you know when new videos are put up every so often. Also, I love to hear from you in the comment section, so please let me know what you think about this video and what you think in general about this category of efficiency in electric vehicles, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.